Which one? How do you pick a weighted vest? What do you do with this? Let me share. Okay, so I had told you I've been using a weighted vest, right? And the benefits of using a weighted vest, right? We're gonna help with our posture by giving that input in there. We're going to burn more calories when we're doing activities, but it's also going to help really building that mo bone strength and density and also building the muscle, which we tend to lose very quickly when we hit menopause. So we really want to be focusing on this in perimenopause and as we transition into menopause. Okay. So there are different vests and different styles. So I have a nice, um, it's called a 511. It's nothing anything that's really fancy per se. But what I like about this is that it is kind of a little more tactile. So I kind of feel really cool and special. Okay. It just goes right on over woo, your head. Okay. And the thing I like about this is the elastic strap. So there's some that have buckles. They'd be a little bit cheaper, but these have nice, good little elastic strap. You put it right over here and then we come right on down and we've got a nice, okay. And then you, it sits more evenly over the body okay so it's it's evenly distributed that weight so that's very different than what we will call rucking or using a backpack where that weight would be mostly on our back this is going to help me actually keep up a nice good straight posture so i really like this when i'm walking and hiking but you can also use a weighted vest when you're working out that's kind of the disadvantage i like don't love about this if i'm doing something it's a little more challenging and a little bulkier if you were to try and do a workout. Now, can you do it? Absolutely. People do it all the time, but that would be kind of where I would say maybe have my issue. But when I'm walking, I feel way better on this because of the way it distributes the weight and sits on me. And like I said, I really like having the nice, good, um, adjustable bands that kind of help me really get that nice and stable. Okay. So here's another idea. This is more designed as like a women's, women's only vest. Okay. And it comes right on and it's really, really simple. It's also significantly cheaper. So that's something to think about. Okay. That 511 vest is a cost. Then you buy the weights. We're going to talk about weights in just a second. So this just zips up really nicely right up here. Okay. So it's nicely and tug and fit. So this is what I like to work out in a little bit easier for me, but I will say there's a little bit more weight on the back than the front. So sometimes I, when I'm walking with this, it feels more like I'm wearing a backpack. And so it can be a little bit strenuous for me compared to the other. So I like the way the other fits. Now, again, it's all going to be a little bit designed on your body, but there are different styles. And that was kind of my point behind it. So when you're deciding on the weight, the best way is, is not to start real heavy. Don't think about like the dumbbells you carry around in the gym. Think lighter. Think like 10% of your body weight is maybe like a place to start or even less. These two vests right now are only 10 pounds for me. Okay. I can do 20 pounds, but I can't go very far with it. And so I fatigue pretty quickly. This I'm allowed to do a workout in. I can do a nice good walk in it and I feel strenuous by the time I'm done. Okay. It adds up quickly, but I'm able to do the activity pretty easily. So that's kind of where you're going to be focusing on is start maybe about that 10% of your body weight or even a little bit less and build from there. That's the thing. This vest is kind of set on what you can do for the weight. That other one, because you buy the weight separate, you can buy different size weights and do and insert them differently. So yes, it's more expensive, but it gives you more variability, especially if you think you're going to grow with the best. So those are my ideas. Those are my tips. Comment below if you have any questions. Have a great day.